Hello, this is Claude uh, coming to you with another video and I'm going to make a quick, uh, I don't, I'm not doing an unboxing of that uh, interesting motherboard, MSI Z170A Gaming M7 uh, motherboard uh, for the, uh, I've got an i7 6700K uh, chip, uh, you know, chipset, uh, not chipset, but the, uh, what is it called there, 1151, uh, you know, platform. Uh, so um, the thing with this is that there's a common error that you see when you build a computer. You put your, uh, you know, i7 or whatever it is, your uh, Z170 uh, chip on this, and then you put everything, you do everything you have to do properly, and then you get the speed of your CPU stuck at 800 megahertz or 0.8 gigahertz. You do everything you can. You can find out what it is. I built my machine last night. Um, basically the whole night I went to bed at five in the morning, uh, nothing was working. It booted windows installed UEFI and all that good stuff. Even made the 950 Samsung N50, uh, raid on that stuff. Everything was super slow. Nothing was working. And, uh, basically was stuck at 800 megahertz and undid the machine, undid everything, put another gigabyte board and, that I had and read it, everything works just fine. CPU is running at four. I'm not overclocking. Could overclock easy to four, five, four, six. Not doing it though, but so everything is just fine. The problem with this board, and I, I was looking after that on the internet, Googled it, and the 800 thing that gets stuck is because there's a switch here. There's a micro switch below, which is slow, slow or off. And this is for the, those that do a liquid nitrogen uh, cooling. I didn't even know that existed. And uh, basically, they make this to be able to reduce the speed of the CPU so they can, uh, you know, boot up just fine, whatever it is, you know, to do diagnostic, whatever it's done for. That switch was, at the, it was on the slow thing, so it was stuck at 800. So if you have this, you just take the little switch that's in the bottom right, turn this to off, and everything should be just fine, and you, you, you're going to be able to do everything. You don't need to undo your machine like I did. Uh, me, I couldn't do it because my switch is broken. And I did another video on some another channel that I have uh, about this, a rant with the store that I bought it from. But they, they sold it to me with, with the switch broken. I didn't check that, check the pins of the CPU and everything else. I never crossed my mind to check every little thing. There's thousands of components. But anyway, so it's stuck there, and I could just try to wiggle it to the other side, and, I, and I'm not going to do that. I'm going to check what MSI store I, I, I bought it from. I won't... Uh, do the warranty on it, even though I bought it yesterday. And, you know, this, oh, you damaged it. You, oh, yeah, I threw it on the wall, or I, I was just jiggling with the switch like crazy because I had nothing else to do. So, um, uh, anyway, so that's stupid like that. But if you have that 800, um, uh, you know, megahertz issue with it, don't despair. It's very easy. Turn everything off, machine off. This, I, I would even like, disconnect the, uh, the, the power from the power supply, make sure things is good. You don't have to do it, but I still do it. I'm over uh, cautious and like that. Put the switch back to off so you don't have that slow CPU thing. And then reboot everything back up. Everything should be working just fine. Uh, I'm not going to live uh, to see that because I, I spent 10 hours of my life on that stupid board. Once again, this, the issue is not with MSI. That Everybody's got issues. Uh, but I'm, you know, I'm not spending another 10 hours to do that. Um, so uh, that's what it is. So uh, if you have this error, just that stupid switch, little switch, but hopefully it's not broken. Your know, is going to be just fine. Just flip it on the other side to uh, off, and you'll be good to go. All right? So that was my uh, little spiel about the error or the CPU stuck at 800 megahertz on the MSI Z170A Gaming M7 motherboard. I hope that somebody learned something with this video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.